Man, God damn. Man, God damn. <laughs> that was Lester. Holy shit. That's, yeah. I love it. He's more upset about the dog yeah. than anything that yeah, 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 yeah. happened yeah. like, yeah, yeah. He's like, damn, that dog is gone. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, that dog dead. Yeah, he's like, man, no. Stepped, he's like, he stepped it up with yeah, us. I should have been talking shit this whole time. Not the dog. <laughs> So this week's Bad Movie Roast is sort of in honor for a new Black Panther movie coming out. But but let's go ahead and give some respect to this film right here, because before Black Panther, before Blade, before Blank Man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> some say you. <laughs> Hey man, come on! <laughs> hey, that, that was an early one. That was one of the first black superheroes on the big screen, man. Yep, true. But it was not the first. Some say you would not have these <laughs> these great superhero <laughs> movies here. I did say you would. I dare you. I dare say not. <laughs> if it weren't for this, some say you would not have any of those heroes on the big screen. Maybe, but it would be a much bigger struggle if it weren't for Media Man's in town. Cosby and another bad creation. Special appearances by Luke. Oh, so we're gonna get into all that. We're gonna get into all of that. Now, here's the thing. Y'all laughing right now. Y'all talking about, oh, I can't wait to make fun of this stupid movie right here. I can't either. But I do have to give some respect to this film right here. And we all should. Because say what you will about Meteor Man, but this was history in the making. This was the first black big screen superhero movie at a time where it was it, people say it was much needed in the black community this was trying to be a, not only a, a, a history making film as far as superheroes go but it was trying to be a positive film for all the black people out there so media man was about the media man was about we had robert townsend as jefferson reed and he's an inner city black teacher mm. Because before Wakanda in the 90s, everything black took place in the inner cities. Sure. And it was with teachers. And it was with fact, teachers. Black Lightning is a, a teacher named Jefferson. Yeah. There you go. He did it first, though. <laughs> See, even Black Lightning got to kiss his black ass right there. Black Lightning was around first. <laughs> the, not the show, not though. Not the show, but yeah. the comic was. <laughs> there was a lot of black comics out there. But making that transition to the screen, big and small, that was a hard thing to do. <laughs> because you... Don't make money, is what people say. <laughs> it's what Hollywood said, and you right. know it. And you know that's what they said. And of course, in the inner city, is that that's just a nice way of saying the ghetto. Mm, yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and that is where crime and needs, like, you leave it to Hollywood shit. It was like Mad Max or something. Right. For real. I mean, it's like, not, not, you can't walk down the street. No. Crime was rampant. You know, because broad of the big, daylight. yeah, broad daylight. Crime was rapid because of the drugs and prostitution and Gang. gangs. But one day, a meteor lands in the hood, striking Jefferson, giving him superpowers. Ooh. Yeah, a meteor lands in the hood. Shane, By, land like, in the hood. Vibranium again. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a meteor. There you go. Meteor, man. I'm, God, I'm in, <laughs> I meant meteor. I got you to say it. Yeah, no, God damn. <laughs> I meant Meteor, <laughs> homie. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, changing him from a bitch ass substitute teacher to the superhero Meteor Man who vows, who vows to clean up the neighborhood. So it, the reason why I, 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 I imagine, I didn't really read up on this, but I, I can't help but imagine that Robert Townsend, he was able to pull off this history in the making because he was still riding high off of this movie right here, which I have to say, if you have not seen this, it was a great movie. Uh, Robert Townsend was kind of, kind of the Robert Rodriguez of oh, his day very, back then. Very much so. Yeah, he was kind of, he was kind of Spike Lee a little bit before Spike Lee. Yeah, now, maybe mean, around the same well, time. Spike was doing his thing, but they were like, where are some other black directors who aren't so angry but can right. give us something of substance? There you go. And and Robert Townsend, he had that Robert Rodriguez story where he used credit cards yep. to finance his movie. Yeah, yeah. He was already in some 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 movies back in the day. You can see him in even some black exploitation movies, but he they weren't gonna make his movie, so he had to go out and get credit cards and pay for the movie Hollywood Shuffle, which for a lot of people, including me, is a classic. Hi. 
My name is Robert Townsend, and it's hard to make a movie in Hollywood. But the real trick is finding a juicy role when the odds are against you. Good luck, brother. That was my favorite part there. Don't sit up, brother. That's me. Yeah, good, good luck, luck brother. brother. Yeah, man. This one runs off. Yeah. Man, this is this movie is uh, is great. It's a classic if you haven't seen it. <laughs> so he was a butler slave. <laughs> yeah, uh, they clean, they they feed us and they clothe us. While we yeah, <laughs> while we <he's> running. <laughs> oh man, yeah, y'all watch that man. This this uh, this movie is important to mention because this did kind of make him somewhat of a Hollywood legend. Mm -hmm. You know, the movie was so history making, so positive, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, they said this guy's somebody. We can make money off of him. He makes, you know, he makes positive black shit. Sure. <laughs> you know, and, and he made this 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 successful movie off nothing. Just okay. like that movie, this movie, Meteor Man, this movie was also so positive. It was and it, and it was history making. If you were black at the time, no matter how big or small you were, you had to be in this movie. <laughs> You know, because, yep. you, you know, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, because because there, there were uh, uh, there were a lot of black celebrities and, 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 and legends in this movie right here. You heard some of them being mentioned in the credits right here. But, you know, they, and, and they probably looked at this and said, I don't want to be in this shit. But nobody wanted to be accused of not being down <laughs> with the cause. Right. You know, uh, and, and, and big movie roles for blacks and uh, movie roles in general. As far as Hollywood goes, back then, yeah, slim few, pickings, few and far between. Slim pickings, y'all. You know, really great, a, a, along with big musicians at the time, uh, including one of the biggest. I thought she had to have it I... Now, Michael Jackson said, "Hell no, I'm not gonna be in that shit." But hey. You can use a song. You use a song, yeah. And that's that's more than I give most people. <laughs> you know, anybody uses yeah. music in movies, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. huge. And so back in the day, if you saw this in the theater. <laughs> When that came on, you heard Michael Jackson, you like, you probably thought like, man, this is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> but this ain't the cause because you know, this ain't the deepest script in the world. It's not all bad, but I'm just saying they got some legends in this movie, and they just they, they just won no characters, man. He's not he's not really mining them for their legendary no. talent. No. No, I mean, like Rob, yeah, yeah. Robert Gilman. Guillaume. Guillaume. Robert Guillaume. Robert Guillaume, a lot of people might know him from TV. A lot of people might know him from theater. A lot of people might know him from animation. He was that damn ba ba baboon from, uh, from, from oh, Rafiki, Lion whatever. Yeah, it was yeah, Lion yeah, King. yeah, Rafiki. Yeah. Rafiki. Also family opera on Broadway. Yes, but he plays uh, Jefferson's brother, Robert Townsend's character. He's also the, the old man who's the only one telling everybody in the neighborhood, we got to do something about these gangs and this violence. You mean his father, not his brother. Did I say his brother? Yeah, he says his brother. Oh, I'm sorry, his father. Yeah. He plays his father. He plays his father. He's the only, you know, he's that, every movie with these hood movies, I always got that one, that yeah. one old man. On the stoop. They ain't going to intimidate me. <laughs> I'll, I'll let them know. <laughs> I'll tell them something. You lucky that didn't break, old man. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 This <laughs> yeah, break like this. <laughs> and... Oh shit, he done made that gold show right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you done yeah, up yeah, now, yeah. didn't you? Oh man, yeah. yeah. Once that blonde hair yeah, showing, that's right. oh, that's an ass whooping right there. Uh, now, I'm gonna tell you something, this was actually a, a good scene because Robert uh, Guillaume, man, he, He's he's good that even when you give him like stuff that's not that big, you give him doo doo, man. He can spend. He, go he out makes some out of that. He treats everything like it is Shakespeare. Yeah, but, I mean, you got two really good actors right yeah. there, so you got to get something out oh, of that. Oh, right. no, and it's good. And, and Robert Guillaume, man, he's a uh, he's he's really good in this scene because he's he ain't backing down. In fact, he piles on another pile of shit talking. See you later, old man. You don't have to see me later. See me now, huh? <laughs> I ain't crossing no street. You know, I really felt bad for the crackhead in this man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he, he <laughs> like, you know, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm the real loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get my rock. <laughs> I mean, the dude went selling to me. The old man stepped on it. I didn't get shit. I got this nice VCR right here. So you see that the, the, this is the character, the old man in the neighborhood who won't back down. And the thing about that character is he usually gets his ass whooped. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Boy, he's uh, lucky there was some nice soft boxes yeah. right there for in Orlando. Hey, he's doing all those stunts, though. He is. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's soft stunts yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But, like, hey. hey. <laughs> I mean, he threw his ass against that wall. He had jazz hands and yeah. shit. <laughs> like, he was about to get fricked. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But da 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 It's like when the police throw your ass against the wall and start frisking you. <laughs> Shit, okay. Shit. <laughs> oh, you, you got a tiny lister up there, man. Like, like, oh, shit, it's Debo. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> Zeus tiny listed, man, getting his ass beat by him. Um, Another character that's in the movie. So, you listen, you can ride with that and be like, because, look, this this, this, this is not that big of a deal. You know, these are side characters. Uh, You know, like I said, it's a, this is a comedy. It's so no big deal. But it's when we get to... It's when we get to James L. Jones that we realize, oh shit, he really don't know what to do with these people. Good morning, Mr. Moses. Jesus. <laughs> what do you think? I think you a damn fool. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, think, I think take that shit off. <laughs> you, you want me to answer that? Like, yeah, like, hey, man, I, I see you later. Yeah. Hey, what yeah. answer are you looking for right yeah. now? Yeah. What do you want to hear? <laughs> yeah, in the... In the words of Samuel Jackson, you look like a bitch. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. What you what you want me to say, man? And then he was completely confused. Like, he like, uh, like, turned around happy to this. Yeah. Well, you hey. <laughs> Old man still got it, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, he's he's, for white he's sitting up here right? looking like damn Chucky or something. <laughs> <laughs> he's in this movie just to try on different wigs, man. Yeah, that's it. That's that that's and seriously. He plays records. And not even that as much. He, he, played, he, it's kind he, of play, he played one record and smashed the Rex. Yes. Yeah, but he's in here. Th legendary Darth Vader himself, James L. Jones. He got him in here just to try on different wigs. And at first, at first, I'm gonna, you know, I'll give it to you. It's in the beginning. It's not that bad. What do you think? Look, girls, y'all just gonna have to wait in line. Okay, it's awful. It's bad. It's it's shitty. It's terrible. But not as bad as what he does soon after in the movie. Because at that point, we we moved up to those Tyler Perry wigs now. Oh yeah. yeah. Where he's putting like styrofoam on his head. Yep. <laughs> I mean, at least that was hair. God styrofoam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell you nothing's gonna happen. Oh, God, damn, man, you're like that. Forget about that shit. That's, a, that's like a satellite dish. God damn. <laughs> God, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, nothing's gonna happen until we do it. Are you done with OBP? You know me. I Get your ass away from me. Okay, no, see, I don't know you. Yeah. See, without that wig on, that line is kind of funny because he's saying it wrong and he thinks he's <laughs> doing it right. But other than that, it's yeah, not kicking. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at this. You could do you could do blacksmith on that shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's a goddamn anvil he's got on his head. Yeah. And still, it would be another thing if it was just if he was just there for the laughs. If it was lighthearted and he was just a comedic character the whole thing, but it's sad. But, but he gets yeah. man, it gets it gets funnier because he has to be serious. And he has to still be serious with that damn scrub pad on his head. Yeah, yeah, pad, Maybe brillo. we can make a deal with the gang. Let's vote on it. No, brother, if you're trying to get the emotion right here, no, nah, <laughs> that ain't working. It's impressive he leaned his head down and didn't just fall off. Yeah, because they got that shit gorilla glue to his head. <laughs> that's I think that's a different way. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. he's just uh, maybe he's just sleeping on it sometimes. Oh, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's it's just deteriorating. Yeah. <laughs> the styrofoam is falling off. Gravity is getting to it. What is it? <laughs> that dive melting the, uh, the yeah. styrofoam. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Shit, it, it gets to a point where even he can't take this shit no more. He's like, what the f I done? <laughs> My dignity. Hey, that's him in his trailer. He's like, it's not real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's like, shit, it's, all set. call me a sellout. Call me not down with the cause, but this shit has got to stop. <laughs> well, even that ball cap he's got on is it's pretty bad. terrible. Yeah. yeah. So he's got to wear one terrible wig on top of another. It's like a Russian doll of shittiness. Yeah. Right. You know, it, 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 <laughs> it's like it you take one bad thing off to reveal yeah. another one. You can see the hair under the ball cap struggling to just yeah. bust uh, through. Shit is lighter. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the seams on the side? You can totally see the seams. And the glue. And the glue and <laughs> shit. This damn George Jefferson shit he got going on right here. The, the, the skin on the cap that yeah. matches his own skin. Yeah, they broke my man. They broke his ass. That, yeah, that, that is, that is, that, 
they just rolled the camera. That <laughs> yeah. yeah. God damn it. <laughs> enough is That's enough. Him and his <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the things that'll make us root for Meteor Man, like the villains. Because the movie does, it, it does a good job at convincing you that this neighborhood needs a hero because crime in this neighborhood is high and bad. You know, it's the whole neighborhood just, just got random dwarves, short people, random dwarves just running around robbing folks. <laughs> Squirrel? People, it's little kids. Little kids seven and eight years old running around beating the shit out of grown ass women. Which, which, come on, man. She would have been whipping their little she, asses. No, they're vicious. <laughs> no, man. They're vicious. <laughs> These little bastards out here. This kid had no muscle tone or nothing. <laughs> but that's how bad crime is in this neighborhood, man. They get beat by little preschoolers almost. Damn, that's like Rio. Yeah. <laughs> shit, little, little, little poster kids for abortion right here just running I'm around. Telling you. Yeah. Wait, uh, did they have dwarves that they switched out? No. <laughs> oh, it was those, all, were, those were kids. kids. Okay. And, like and listen, people, they, that that's crazy right here that they got little kids running around beating people. But that's just the first level. The next wave is 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 crazy. The next wave, they got kids walking straight out the matrix. Oh yeah. And that's kind of crazy and creepy because that means they just hang in the shadows while they watch smaller kids beat the f grown women and don't do nothing. I love it though. I don't about this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. No, yeah, knock all of them motherfuckers out. Uh, and, the, and, th and those were just right there. Those are just the uh, those are just the elementary school kids. The most you might get, you might get middle school. They still have a whole other wave of, uh, of, of high schoolers to come out. All that for one woman? Oh, yeah, Martin, no. wait a minute, all that? Wait a minute, there's, wait, there's more. Oh, God. A God, tiger? God, a tiger? Oh, a tiger? Not just a tiger, but a tiger. Being walked by Zeus, tiny yeah. lister. <laughs> of course, ain't, ain't the only one that can handle a tiger. Uh, yeah. And they're and they're all led by one grown ass man, Simon Kane, who's played by Roy uh, Roy Feigen, who's, who's, in all his who's in all his movies. Yeah, uh, he's the leader. That's the name of them. He's the leader of the Gold Lords. <laughs> yeah. This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this, I, this I, is getting yeah. too weird right, right here. Right, right. I, mean, I said a couple of kids. I know you yeah. want 20 geese. <laughs> Shit, you got sleekers and tigers here. I'm out of here, man. See, what I remember, though, is I didn't see the movie. These are 30 years at the same time you saw it. Yeah. Um, I think they were testing those kids out, right? Yeah, so they were all I get there. the impression that was an yeah, initiation. Yeah, it was, a, it was yeah, an initiation. initiation. Right, okay. right. Yeah. I guess the, like, apparently the whole crew had to show up for it. Yeah. Okay. To make yeah. sure they did it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but everybody? Yeah. Say, hey, everybody? Should they brought the tiger too? I love that. I love the way this dude was just kind of like, yeah, man, y'all, you know, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you? Yeah, he, 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 like, he processed that shit, like, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would have waited for As soon as the second row came out, I was like, look, I, I, yeah. I can't take all these out. So these, these gangs here, man, and it's crazy because, you know, they're like, they're, they're like more than a gang, they're like a cult of zombies when they're like, when you, like they chant when they're chasing down Jefferson. Boy, that was scary. This is like a John Carpenter movie. Uh -huh. It was like <laughs> Escape from New York or something. This is also like, Lord. Let me stop. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, time, yeah. <laughs> Lord. Uh, and by the way, let me tell y'all, man. So they got, you know, they out there acting tough. They got this name, the, the Gold Lords. But uh, these gangs are some of, they, they are some of the most ungang-like people because, just because of their names. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they got these crazy ass names to go with the theme, you know, of their gold heads. Goldilocks. 
Pete, no, that big man, you know, no. that is not intimidating at all. Does, is, is there Rapunzel in the group? <laughs> 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 yes. That fool that's a, that fool's part of a, a of a criminal gang and he's talking about Goldilocks. Brother, you could have thought about Goldfinger, Gold Link, anything. Uh, any of Gold name, bar? Any of them named Golden Shower? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know when he joined though, it could have been like you know, it could have been like usual uh not usual stuff, but uh, 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 reservoir uh, dog. Yeah. You know, hey, hey man, some, some other guy. That's all he had already, yeah. already Goldfinger. You got to be Goldilocks, <laughs> but you ain't in the gang. <laughs> It's my way or the highway. Go, or what's it gonna be, Goldilocks? <laughs> <laughs> That's my best Lawrence too. <laughs> so, you know, what a, what a lucky coincidence that Jefferson, while he's running from that gang, a meteor lands on him. Now I say land, but it's more like it chases ass through an alley. Shit, that 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 Dastro is trying to get some ass. Right, right? yeah. That, shit, that, like meat, that meteor is trying to rape yeah. his ass. <laughs> Tell me, it is, yeah. it is, it it is, is chasing targeted. him. Yeah. yeah. You run, it's, but you can't got, got a bead on it. Yeah, that shit's like Pac-Man or something. <laughs> oh, you want to run? Yeah, I like it like that anyway. Yeah, yeah go ahead and run. I like it when they run. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> What's that? Uh, it ain't gonna be nice either. Oh now, shit, he did. Yeah, well, <laughs> listen, man. Uh, he's, all, he's absorbing it. It's pretty mm, rough. Like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> now this is a family film, but when that meteor catches him, I mean, it it catches him and, and does horrifying things to his body. Jesus, that meteor really is raping his ass. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm impressed that they were actually able to do this in a kid's movie. Sure, sure. Because they didn't know what else to do yeah, they, with yeah. that. I like the dogs are like, you want some help? <laughs> I, mean, I ain't going to do it. But dogs yeah. are even like, you want some dogs? Like, you got this, man. <laughs> you fight that shit, yeah, man. Right, right. Fight him, Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, get him, get him, Jefferson. You Don't got go this. go out there like a bitch. <laughs> um, of course, he gets superpowers, which are, how do I say this? Stupid. I mean, for example, the one of his powers when he his first power when he wakes up from the hospital and the doctors are amazed that he's waking up with no burn scars. You know, he's fully healed. And they're trying to they're trying to explain this from a book. But little do they know oh, yeah. that one that one of uh, the first power that Jefferson has is that when he touches a book. This is a rare case. This comes where. When he touches a book, he has the ability to absorb all the information. But of course. <laughs> but so, it, yeah. so the doctor, and when you know the doctor just happened to be kind of wrong, but hey, I just absorbed a book, bitch. I can tell you everything. I'm gonna Your tell face. you, yeah, I'm gonna tell you just how <laughs> because, wrong you are. Uh, graduate from medical school, you don't have to read one book. Exactly. <laughs> right. And he apparently that doctor only got halfway through that book. But hey, I absorbed the whole book, and I'm gonna tell you something about yourself. The Stromberg theory states that minor burns. How dare you! <laughs> He's like, mother, you gonna bash me in front of company? No. Yeah. You know, you're not supposed to contradict me in front of white exactly. people. Exactly. Right. You pull me aside and yeah, we yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. that. You pull me aside, you a private piece of ghetto trash. <laughs> he has the power to absorb whole books just by touching them. But he starts out talking about. What was I saying again? Thank you very much for your medical tips, Mr. Reed. And shut the f up. <laughs> you only have the power for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. Uh, okay. So I, yeah, I guess yeah. that's useful. So, and, and I, I was going to say, so in other words, a lot of good that shit's going to do. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what you going to do in 30 seconds? 30 seconds. By the way, what you going to do when a villain attacks, even if you do have a longer amount of time, recite a book to him? Right. I mean, well, unless it's the Riddler or some shit, and you just happen to have the right book there at the moment. Right. <laughs> you bring me a book of rags. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the right book at the right moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you like, I carry this shoe all the time. This is the, whoa, well, this is the weakest ass power I've ever seen. Well, it's a very strong power for the writer because then you don't have to consistently yes. keep, you know, then you can let it go yeah. and see the 30 yeah. I ain't got to write about that no more. Yeah, exactly. I, I bring that book back in the script. Right, so it's like, <laughs> if he remembers everything he touches, he's going to be too powerful. Right. And within 
in three scenes. Yeah. Okay, well then he forgets. How yeah. about that? And that shit don't come into play at all. You know what? It, it, yeah. It's a gag later on in the movie. That's that's the only reason why they put it in there. But yeah, way, like, the way late in the movie. Well, you ain't thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> you forget that that shit is even there. Right. Because it's stupid for one thing. Uh, and <laughs> I mean, if that's bad, his powers immediately just get dumber, man. For example, uh, Jefferson, he can. Uh, let me see here. Jefferson, he can talk to his dog. You see, chicken, liver, beefy beef. First of all, why does your dog sound like a bitch? Right. <laughs> yeah. Why does your, your dog sound like a nerd? Sound like, sound like, like, like Damian Wayans from uh, Black Man. Yeah, yeah, from Black Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! That shit had these rappers on. What I'm talking about. Come on in the red can. Oh wow! It sure does. <laughs> I'm wearing a red can. Yeah. Red can. <laughs> Look at them credits, man. That might be David Wayne in that yeah, fucking world. It might be. They are friends. I wish they had like panned on the dog was actually holding his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show that monkey. Come on, here, motherfucker. Uh, uh, his powers get better. Oh, I was like, our dogs don't they don't they see in black and white? Are they colorblind? Dogs? dogs don't, yeah. First not all, necessarily so. Okay. They, lately, they've been seeing like that's not necessarily true. Okay. Uh, again, you okay. asking questions about a movie. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah don't man. Don't wait, wait, I, I ain't want to call you out on it, but <laughs> no, it's been no, no, time on. to ask that. It's been, it's been 30 seconds. I'm gonna <laughs> His powers get better, but uh, so for example, like he, uh, now we get into real, you know, comic book Superman level powers. Like he has X-ray vision so that he can actually see while the, People are having a meeting at school. He can actually see kids vandalizing property at school. It's up to us. I mean, they're doing this for just for no reason at all. Like he didn't even want to steal the car. He just wanted to just destroy it. Do you have bus fare? The, these kids aren't bad. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> okay, I did that yeah. So he can see kids destroying the school and school property so that he can do absolutely nothing about it. Yeah, he could at least ran out there and say, hey, knock yeah. it off. No, he don't, he don't, he just don't put his head out the window. You know, and they don't even do a follow up scene where he tells the guy that his car got destroyed. That shit just ends. Oh. Yeah, oh. they just, it's forgotten about. Jeez. They don't do shit with that scene afterwards. Well, you, you sure can't just drag Wallace Shawn and anything. Can yeah. Yeah. Right? God damn. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if crime is so bad in this neighborhood because the adults are just dumb. Because all the adults get together at this school for a meeting and they don't leave no adults in charge of supervising the rest of the school. So what the hell you think is gonna happen? Yo man, keep looking out while I'm breaking the sock. Keep looking out. They just vandalizing. Mm -hmm. The whole school. Meanwhile, they having a meeting on, how do we get these kids straight? <laughs> right. He comes with these powers that, you know, that there's no use because he don't do nothing. Uh, I mean, it depends on how you look at it because uh, along with the X-ray vision powers, and it's something, and I'll give it this, this is something to ask about uh, about with Superman, you know, because those X-ray powers come with the uh, perv powers too. Yeah, they always do, don't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 because you know, you, like Luke, Superman tried to act like he, don't, he ain't ever looking at somebody's ass or anything, but uh, Meteor Man said, I'm gonna let you know I'm looking at everything. Well, kinda. Now, Man, I tell you, I can't now? wait to get out of here. No, I'm talking about the one, right? Shit, he going back in to jug off now. <laughs> well, no, apparently everyone also, everyone wears underwear from the 1920s. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Like, what kind of shit? Like, yeah, it's all these union suits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, goddamn, this uh, Borat shit he's wearing yeah. here and everything. Uh, which, by the way, <laughs> Borat yeah, you said one piece he got on right there? He got one piece on, like he's on a beach in the Yeah, with a, hole, with a yeah. hole in the ass right there. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in this neighborhood, no matter what they doing, no matter where they going, every woman wears lingerie, no matter what time of day. Yes, sweetheart. Can you drive me? My car's acting up again. Yes, sweetheart, I think that was You know. <laughs> Now she getting ready to go to work, which I guess work is hooking, you She's know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being a hoe, she yeah. gotta wear a teddy. Also, your window's wide ass open. Yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah, exactly. Realize. <laughs> Close your window. Right. Yeah. Well, also, shades at least. Sure, but he's up there with his mouth 
open. Yeah, I know. Like hanging on the street like I know. Mr. Yeah. Little, little drool dripping down the whole I know. time. And eyes big as banjos. Yes. <laughs> and looking like he's stroking a giant dick right now. Exactly. <laughs> He uh, does get uh he does get eventually like now like I said we get into the higher level higher level uh, uh, superpowers which he ain't really done anything with yet he finally starts doing something with them like he gets his super strength. <laughs> which you know not a bad it, stunt actually no, it's not a or, bad stunt a budget, yeah. <clears throat> no and he uses it but honestly he kind of uses it on accident. Because I I, yeah. I I will give him this I've he's the only superhero that I've seen beat somebody up by flinching. Now wait a minute. Damn, he screamed like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, you heard that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's a tiny list of, like his, his facial expression this are really great. No, like, it's, oh, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. But she's like, that's your cousin? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the problem is, man, so this is a real legitimate complaint I have about the movie. Because this, this is a superhero movie. And I'm, you know, I'm sorry, man. We want to see superheroes beat somebody up. You know, but mm -hmm. the problem is he gets these powers, but... He a lot of times he doesn't use them in, in, in cool ways, man. Like uh like in this scene, you know, he again we're going along Superman powers. Uh, you know, he becomes bulletproof. <laughs> I'm about to say Robert Townsend got some movies, yeah. man, on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time he needs to get shot on the dance floor. <laughs> they look at him. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, no, here's the thing. The man just realized he's bulletproof. He got shot. He got back he up. Got lit up. He got, yeah, got lit up and got back up. Brushed it off. Uh, so even though he can survive a barrage of bullets, he, does he stop the street gangs? No. Now, he runs from them. And not only does he run from them, but, and even though they're scared, because I'm like, you know, they do the whole thing, whoa, let's get out of here. You know, even though he's got them running scared, he's hanging on that pole up there where he saw the woman dressing in the lingerie, mm -hmm. which being a pervert, he's hanging up there, hanging up there until they go away. <laughs> they go on you. Yeah, and I, yeah. yeah, man, you know. He, they're scared, they're scared, they drove off. They, they scared, scared of him, yeah. yeah. Don't you like, there's a funny line there. The, the thing with, the, with, 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 with Meteor Man is that He's just kind of a bitch ass hero, man. He's just kind of reluctant. You know, that's what, listen, there's a difference between being a reluctant hero sure. and not doing a damn thing right. with your powers. Right. Man up and do something. <laughs> yeah, he does I mean, run from half he, the he, goddamn movie. I man. mean, he can't, like, he can fly. All right, you know, anybody else would be in the clouds showing off. My man's scared of heights, so he flies inches above the, above the ground. <laughs> It flies like a poodle or something. Yeah, yeah, like a bitch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He might, might, might go walk at that point. <laughs> yeah, smart. Yeah. yeah. You get a skateboard. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And, and notice cars are driving by. Yeah. He catches people in the act. Catches people in the act of stealing and just lets them go. I'm the TV repair man. <laughs> Damn, bitch, it ain't that funny. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, there. Oh, he, he likes that man. Got around. He lasted all his yeah. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we won't breathe a word. Have a good night, folks. What? <laughs> Wait, he didn't stop him. He didn't pick him up, take him to jail. He so cut. They just went like, all right, all right, right yeah, yeah. Hey, Mark, good to know it works. Yeah. He, he, he gave him free cable. <laughs> oh, he cut the TV on for. Wow. Now, to be fair. The neighbors do come out and they're like, hey, what's going on? Somebody call the police. Or why don't you pick the asses up and take them to the station? Go. I mean, you were there. Yeah. And even when he even when he embraces his powers and he starts using them in cool ways because he does, I mean, because he starts using them to actually save people. You know, he starts doing stuff that Superman actually would do. I just came by to give you a message. Yeah, so some people got shot while he was there posing with that bullet though. <laughs> uh, no, he was still moving. Message. You can't be everywhere and save everybody. 
He's like, I, I just, just did, did and, it, I, yeah. and I just was. Plus I'd be like, you know what? You're right. So I gotta take care of you guys right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. Gotta, I gotta beat the yeah. out of yeah. all I'll, y'all. I'll just kill you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just kill you or yeah, wrap you I'll, up. I'll drop pick you, you up off. and dr- drop you off, you know, in, in prison or in something. In prison or yeah, in the Himalayas. Or, yeah, right, exactly, but, yeah. But no, because there's another the thing the movie does, man. Cause once his powers do start getting cool, yeah, he yep. starts losing them oh. right after, right? Man, he just got cool, <laughs> and I be mean, goddamn, he did right then and there. He starts losing his powers. <sighs> oh damn! He was holding a packet of ketchup. Yeah, 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 sure was. Yeah, Man, I was saving it for later. <laughs> my fries. <laughs> my fries. <laughs> what are my fries gonna do? Yeah. yeah. If you're taking care of those guys, you wouldn't have that problem right now. Right, but actually, you got no yeah. power to go take care of them. Right, <laughs> right. Now. Yeah, before it's all gone. Before the thing is, gone. they want it, they want to make him more of a of a of a of a pacifist kind of character, and I'm guessing that they want to do that because. He doesn't want to show a black man being violent on other black people. I'm assuming, you know, I, I don't know. There's, okay, but just scooping them up. You don't have to be violent about right. it. Yeah, he didn't think that far ahead. Yeah. Was that before? <laughs> you no, know, they, they, they had a they had a more movie to do or something. Was that before after they lit him up on the side of the road? That's after. They, they killed yeah. him. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, black people being violent with black people. They, yeah. <laughs> they and, did a drive by. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Ben being pacifist probably would be cool. It probably would. That would be a, a nice I take did. on a superhero. Uh, if the powers, because... Now he don't want to do anything with his with his actual superpowers, his super strength and all that because he don't want to do anything with that because he wants to avoid hurting people. The powers start getting ridiculous, man. Uh, like, like, like he has the power of agriculture. They call the flying man, closed down a crack house. It was me. <laughs> Like he awesome. says, you know, I'm gonna. I, <laughs> that sounds great. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring farm fresh goods to the ghetto for the people out there. Well, he's got a green thumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hear that shit? <laughs> you laughed. <laughs> I did. I did. I laughed. I'm guilty. Yeah, I know. I did. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, green. Yeah, he does. He can't argue when he got a green thumb. He's planting shit. So. And by the way, he's planting seeds and vegetables to sexy sax music. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, but, but to the to the sweet mellow sounds of BET at yeah. two in the morning. In the shit, 90s. BET. In the 90s. Shit, that would be porn. Yeah, this is this is like farm porn <laughs> that we're watching. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of the neighborhood getting radiation sickness and shit. Yeah. No, he don't. He, just, he just, don't have a mask though. He don't need that suit for anything. No, and everybody yeah, talking about it. and everybody doing this thing. He ain't even got glasses. And everybody talking about who is this meteor man? Hey, this fool's about to create zombies and all kind of shit now. And nobody is there to say, okay, for the audience, this is really not that impressive. No. No, well, it's impressive to him. Yeah. I mean, look at him. Yeah, that's some good <laughs> shit. I'm gonna feed everybody. Okay, here's where the shit gets crazy. All right, okay, it's noble that he wants to plant vegetables and whatnot, but they ain't content with that. Again, they gotta take this shit to a silly level. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, grocery store, a garden oh, in the yeah. middle oh, of the John has vegetables, man. Thousands yeah, thousands. yeah. <laughs> nobody can eat that. Nobody. The ghetto. They said that this, if you listen to it, they said this is enough to feed the whole neighborhood. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a miracle. It'll feed thousands and thousands. Yeah. And give those fools cancer. Uh-huh. That shit got all kind of radiation on it. That giant pumpkin. How, what are you supposed to do with that? <laughs> no, 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 I don't know. Make a giant jack o' lantern. <laughs> it could feed thousands and thousands if only they ate vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, people, especially people, black people, are gonna be skeptical. I ain't eating that. No, right? that's what they go. No, they ain't gonna be skeptical. You know, and if they, even if they want to eat it, they be talking about yeah, make some giant ass Kool Aid. Then we can talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> shit, make some hot fries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit, I, don't see no, I don't see no goddamn giant Doritos in there. Yeah, shit. shit, buck the corn. Give me some well, corn chips. Some turtles back there, mama. It's too big. Yeah. I ain't eating. What, what am I supposed uh, yeah. to do with that? 
Shit, ain't pork rinds up in there? <laughs> no, it's, it ain't nobody gonna eat that shit. Mm -mm. And by the way, even if they ate it, like I said, that shit would give everybody cancer in that exactly. neighborhood. That shit got all kind of radiation in it. <laughs> shit, he should have used HelloFresh. That would have been, <laughs> I mean, that would have been so much easier, man. You know, he, I spent this whole show waiting for you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even catch the build yeah, at all. Man. I was like, he keeps talking about these vegetables yeah, a lot. Man. Hey, I was really <laughs> talking about the, I was really talking about the vegetables with y'all, man. But you know, it would have been easier. Let's admit it. We've had Hello Fresh. With Hello Fresh, it would have been just the right portions uh -huh. for everybody out there. It, it would have been manageable. Man, it would have been manageable. Yeah, they're gonna you man, you know they're gonna throw away half those that yeah, that food of right there. It's gonna rot. Yeah. And smell off the neighborhood. If he had called Hello Fresh America's number one meal kit, he could have had nice portions to feed everybody out there. But now he wanted to do it the hard way. But you don't have to do that. And hey, the holidays right around the corner. And I mean, you know, things gonna get a little hectic. Things will get a little hard. No use in making preparing a meal any harder than it needs to be. Go ahead and get yourself HelloFresh. You'll be able to get well pre-portioned out recipes and ingredients delivered to your door so that you can spend a lot less time prepping in the kitchen, even if you can't cook. HelloFresh is going to make you a cook. You did it with me. I didn't think I could do it. I made a nice meal, too. I was impressed. Good. It, it, it looked kind of crazy, but it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> but after a while, I got I got good the hang of it. Yes. You know, with HelloFresh, I'm talking about how you'll save time. Time is money, y'all. But you can save money, especially money, with HelloFresh. It's 25% less expensive than takeout. It's even cheaper than shopping at the grocery store. And speaking of time, I do, man, they can save you time now. They got meals you can make in about 30 minutes or less. But hey, are you really in a hurry? You really in a rush? They got these 20 minute meals and easy cleanup recipes that allow you to enjoy your time, eating the food, hanging out with the family and friends, or just enjoying the food yourself. Gift yourself this holiday with the gift of HelloFresh. And here's my gift to you right now. I ain't waiting for the holidays. I got you right now. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted 65 and use the code Double Toasted 65 for 65% off plus free shipping. So I want to thank HelloFresh for coming in, feeding the people and feeding the people with well portioned out meals, not going crazy like that right there. <laughs> <Jesus Christ>. <laughs> 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 That's just stupid, y'all. So if you get media fresh, you get one of those giant <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in your house. Uh, you can <laughs> use media fresh, but <laughs> Hello Fresh is America's number one meal kit. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. Um, we're almost done with this. This, this movie gets crazy. So uh, his pacifist powers also include bringing the police together with the gangs and. Uh, Hey, that's a very noble idea. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Uh, it's also silly. Let's hear what he's got to say. It's a Michael Jackson video? Yeah. yeah I know, right? Just want to talk. Because, yes, <laughs> sure. Because, <laughs> because, yeah, because the police would willingly drop their weapons in First. front of armed gangs. First. Yes. I mean, the police are a gang themselves. <laughs> but they would not drop <laughs> Hell no, their weapons in front of first. what we consider a gang. Yeah, they would yeah, never right. do that yeah. shit. They're the ones doing it first. Yeah, no, they would never do that because of a silly ass black man in a silly ass costume <laughs> because he told them to do so. Right. Shall they try to shoot his ass? Yeah, yeah, Only yeah. if he had, is mind control one of his powers? No. Mm, no. No, well then this would no. never happen. <laughs> And the funny thing is, yeah. And the funny thing is, the police and the gangs be trying to shoot his ass. Yeah. Uh, oh, and by the way, it's just in case from, uh, some of you out there looking at this and wondering who's who, then again, this is a who's who movie right here. That right. is uh, B Real from Cypress Hill. Oh, it's not Colin Kaepernick? No. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good at you. That's, like, wow. that's uh, what's his name from Naughty by Nature? That's not Tretch, is it? Tretch, yeah. Oh, boy. That's Tretch from Naughty by Nature. So the mom in this, what's her name? Marla Gibbs. Yeah, Marla, Marla Gibbs. Gibbs yeah. The mom actually made him a cool yeah. suit. One of the things I like about the movie is that they did go through it. One of the times I did like a montage because in some of the big movies that we have, you know, they just make a suit out of nowhere. Yeah. So they did do a montage where uh, the mom did make him try different suits. It's, you know, normally that would be corny, but hey, you know, I like that they actually did that. So they found just the right one. They admitted 
like everyone knows suits were silly until they came across right, the right one. Did. Oh, and the one they settled on. It was the least silly. <laughs> okay. Yes. And it, it was all, a good point. It was, it, yeah. And somehow his mother was also able to make it bulletproof. Okay. Yeah, she got damn. Oh, the suit is, I thought he was bulletproof. He's bulletproof too, but the suit ain't got no holes in when well, they shoot at him. Oh, that's right. The point is that there's no holes in the suit, right? You're yeah. Because every time yeah. you get shot, it just bounces off. Yeah, because apparently she's like Tony Stark or something, man. So. Right, she is. <laughs> but, the, but, but it's funny because the making the costume just drove her ass crazy. <laughs> Your mom's crazy. Yeah, you saw how they just creeped out the room. Yeah. Like, Actually, no, Robert Gill walked up like, here she go. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It don't take much Robert, to set it off these days. Yeah. <laughs> these days, these days. And Robert Gill was like, Robert Gill was like, Daddy, how long has it been going yeah. on? Yeah. Should we, should we, should we yeah. stay? Yeah. Make they, sure Yeah, they both walked out like, yeah, she didn't take her medication today, so. <laughs> Shit, it's new for you. Yeah, I'm used to it. It's yeah. time to call the home. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> she, 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 she'll tire herself. Yeah. Out <laughs> Shit, lock the door on your way out. Right. Casting in this is actually really good. Yeah. Very good. Sometimes it's too good. And that is not a good thing. Uh -oh. Because <laughs> because they got your boy in here. Cosby. Oh yeah. Bill, oh. And he the thing with Bill Cosby in here. He don't say anything. He just creeps. Yeah, not he, one word. Not yeah, one, one word. line. Not one line dialogue. He just creeps, kind of like real Cosby. Just looking for victims. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh -huh. just yeah. Got a dog with a hat on. Yeah, 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 yeah dog with a ball hat. Yeah, you know, but it's almost like it's almost like he he is always go Cosby, but he he put a disguise on and said, I'm, I'm gonna check this. Yeah, I'm gonna get something. Yeah, yeah. 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 gonna know it's me. I'm recruiting. Yeah, I'll come back in my tennis outfit. But right yeah. now, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see what the talent looks like yeah. this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just scoping out the neighborhood, just creeping. Don't yeah. and that makes Cosby what we know about him today. That just makes him extra creepy now in this movie. Sure. So and and, and it's funny because he finds a he finds a a piece, a of, piece of the rock because meteor. because he's creeping. Shit, probably just got through raping Robert Townsend right yeah. away because he's knocked up. <laughs> see, that wasn't I'll no meteor shit. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> yeah, shit, he drank something. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to me? Oh, you got hit by a meteor. Yeah. Shit, really? Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 happens all the time. Yeah. Shit, Bill Cosby probably sent that meteor. You yeah. lucky I was here. <laughs> yeah, he probably yeah. Was my dick. <laughs> yeah, he finds a piece of that meteor. So because he finds a piece of the meteor early on, they don't really do much with it. They, they but he gets he gets powers too. Right. And the first thing he does with his powers is oh, that he no. just he just start uh, he starts uh Mary Poppins <laughs> he, and shit. He starts doing straight up Cosby creeper shit, like looking at people in the underwear. No, them kids been in here. Trust, okay? They been in here playing that hen din do, okay? And I told them, don't be playing the hen Look, I'm jacking off right now. Oh, and he yeah. never like left his smart. apartment again. No. <laughs> oh. With my TV. That's why I got a full bedroom house for everybody. Everybody have a room. Look at Red and Dose, these people yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Roofies. Yeah. Re, 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 re. Yeah, already ready to dose these people. I can fix it. Come to daddy. Let's get a big smile. <laughs> yes. Got something for the neighbors. <laughs> Not only do they have uh, another big celebrity in here, Luther Vandross. Anybody know anything about this guy? That's skinny Luther right there. Yeah. yeah. And no. he don't say nothing in here. That, that Of all the things in this movie, that was the thing that killed me the most. They made a big deal about Luther being in here. Now, Skinny Luther, look, yeah, look, looking smooth. Oh, he's the master assassin. And all he ever did was just skulk around with his yeah, big eyes. Master man. assassin? And then say a word. He don't do shit in this that, movie no, except exactly. that. Exactly. He points he, a he, gun yeah. at one point. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and then he goes. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, leaves. that's it. Yeah, he leaves, does nothing. I was like, wow, he's like Boba Fett, this big legend that don't do shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he don't do nothing in this movie. Now, in all fairness to not having any dialogue, they might have been like, ooh, 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 we, 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 no, no, no. They might have cut out his dialogue because he might have been such a bad actor. We don't know. I would go with you, but there's so much in this that just slides by. Yeah. Like, why would that be the thing? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fair enough. <laughs> but, uh, that might have been a bridge too far, though. You never know. I'm saying, like, yeah, look, he, God, he might have been that bad. bad, but shit. 
this is not really a cameo, but this is this is pretty funny right here. Man, we've done a lot of these bad movie roasts. And one person has been consistent in these. Actually, there's been a couple. One, though, is uh, Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin's been in about two or three oh, of yeah. these bad movie roasts. And I'll tell you, every time he's been in it, I've always said these movies are bad, but, you know, he's kind of funny. And I think that's the same case with him here. I need somebody to talk to. I'm a friend. What time you get off work? <laughs> yeah, that, was that was good timing. No, man. that was that was timing. timing. Yeah. That was great comic timing. Yeah. yeah. What time you get off? Was that Little Rashawn? Uh, yeah. yeah that's Little Rashawn. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah I, I, I cannot remember her name. Thank you. Yeah. Again, every black person in here. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, 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 that was really good comic timing. And, and, and Eddie Griffin time. plays the uh, the best friend. Yeah. Sometimes these cameos just don't make no sense, man. Like uh, they introduce them and it doesn't add to the story at all. In fact, it just makes things a little longer and more convoluted. Uh, so there's a there's a point where they set up what looks like it's going to be a romantic subplot or a romantic plot line. I mean, I because I, I really care about these kids. Well, so do I. Now you see well, the way so they look. In, yeah, you see the way they look in and the way yeah. you know they setting up. You know they they're locking eyes and everything, and then. As a, he's about to make his move on this girl right here, another comedian cameo comes in. My new band princess. So for you. Sinbad, y'all. No, Sinbad no, comes in, who plays the uh, the boyfriend. He's pretty good. I'm kind of nervous, though. I'm new at this. This is my first black girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Funny Dude, he's funny in this. He's funny. No, in this. He's, man, he's genuinely funny, man. He is genuinely. See, the, these little cameos, man. They're so funny, and then, then you go right back to the shit, right? Don't you? Yeah, but the thing is, that, that's so a, funny. He's funny. He's hilarious in this, but they don't go back to that romantic uh, no. subplot. Oh. They, they don't. They go back to him just one time for him to just you know oh. improvise and make a joke, and that's it. They don't come back to this to resolve anything. Because at first you're thinking like, all right, well obviously he's going to be found with a white girl later, and mm. she's going to you know dump his goofy ass and get with right. him, or, or get with Jefferson. Stupid, or right. gonna, yeah, you yeah. know something's going to happen with that. It's going to make Jefferson and her get together. They don't even come back yeah. and touch that shit anymore. I mean, it's almost like it never existed. Mm -hmm. It's the same. She's good too. She was in Five Heartbeats as well. Was she? Yeah. So in the ending here, <laughs> so he do this thing. First of all, Cosby, who's ain't been doing nothing but being a pervert and a creeper in this movie, he uh, he comes Watch back it. in and saves the day with his Cosbyisms and by Cosbyism, you know, like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. making all the faces yeah, too, making them do, oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's the shit Meteor Man should have been doing it from the beginning. Yeah, it's a damn shame when Cosby's a better <laughs> superhero than you are. Yeah. Also, Cosby has some of the same powers as, uh, if not all of them, that uh, Meteor Man does. Like, you know, he calls in his army of dogs by talking to them. Oh! Oh! The, of course, you know, it's one of those movies where the neighborhood has been terrorized by these people so much that when they finally get a chance, they come out there and beat the shit out of these people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody comes out. I mean, they have beaten out of these people. <laughs> he, man, he's dead. They got yeah, yeah, bats yeah. and pans. There's he's a pan in here. Yeah. yeah, in the remake, we keep that ending. It just gets bloody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these people are fractured skull, uh, brains on the ground. And I have to, I'm sorry, I, gotta, I have to correct myself. I'm sorry, Cosby does have a couple of lines of dialogue. So the dude Simon, there's a, of course, there's a big showdown between Jefferson and Simon because Simon's the big villain right here. And, the, and, and to up the stakes, uh, Jefferson gets his powers back, but Simon touches the same rock, so they both get their powers. <laughs> and when they get their powers, they both end up in a big blast that makes uh, them print their faces in cars. <laughs> yeah, like a, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cars are like Play-Doh or some shit. Yeah, yeah, kind of Play-Doh. It wouldn't just be a big dent in the car. <laughs> no, it's, it's a no, perfect my face, face and perfect hands. And my hands yeah. Because of the, again, their book absorbing powers, which is inconsistent at this point because oh. at first they were able to absorb knowledge and just remember it and, and repeat it. Now, thanks to the power of shitty writing, they are they're able to absorb the book, but because they absorb the book, they have to do the instructions of whatever the uh -huh. book says. If so it's an instructional book. Right? It, yeah, if it's an instructional book, ladies, runway model, modeling made easy. Yeah. That book 
that uh, that book absorbing powers didn't play one role in this movie mm. till now. Till now, and it's all for a joke. Almost, almost a slightly, just slightly homophobic joke. Oh yeah, you got him. And meanwhile, they do cut the people like these gay mother. <laughs> I mean, that's your, that's your, like that. everybody like that's your boy. Yeah. <laughs> it could be models. We have to go. I know. Exactly. Models <laughs> don't do all that shit. That's the beginning of a cat fight. Yeah. Models don't do that shit. Yeah, that. That's <laughs> why that book was book powers were, were, were introduced for that one lame ass joke mm-hmm. right there <laughs> from the beginning. From of the movie. beginning. Now don't forget <laughs> the other bullshit thing they do. All of a sudden, while they fight earlier. What happens? What crashes? A bookmobile. A bookmobile. <laughs> he threw that fool into a bookmobile. He threw that fool into a bookmobile. And then a bunch of books come spilling out. Is it so, 9 o'clock at night? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just a bookmobile. The bookmobile comes, comes around. around. I don't know where you grew up. <laughs> that goddamn you gotta bookmobile. Where you grew up, man. Yeah. You know, the Shit, it's like, yeah, because we. we Reading their books, they gotta, right. they gotta show up at night to keep from getting shot. Book <laughs> open like it's a prison or something. Remember all these books come fly out? There, yeah, let me like, see if I can find it. I know that. where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I think of your media, man! <laughs> yeah, of course, all the books we just stacked up in the back and repile. Kung Fu Master Larry! Yeah. Do it! Do it, Larry! Stop dancing, Larry! Finish him off! Yeah! <laughs> Some keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's where Zeus tried to listen and tried to bite his because he ran out of limbs. <laughs> Come back up with gums. <laughs> I always thought his physical yeah. comment on that like, it seemed yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> He was oh. like, I ain't no whole to do this. <laughs> you ain't looking up. Oh, shit. It might work out this time. <laughs> But hey, at this point, Simon ain't playing no more. Simon get his powers too, and Simon says, "You know, I'm I'm tired of I'm tired of playing with you, Jefferson. You know, I'm I'm gonna you know, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. To hell with you. I'm gonna kill your dog." No! <laughs> He's like, oh, God man, damn. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit! That's, yeah. I love it. He's more upset about the dog yeah. than anything that yeah, 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 yeah. happened at this point. He's like, yeah, he's like, damn, that dog is gone. Yeah. He's like, that dog dead. Yeah, he's like, no! <laughs> he's like, he stepped it up yeah. with us. Yeah. Yeah. should have been talking shit this whole time. Not the dog! <laughs> My man, he's done, he done, he's he's caused so much chaos, Simon, that he just goes full Joker with his powers. Shoot me! This gonna be a hot town and hot town in the old town. Hot town in the old town. Oh yeah, stop, goddammit. You know I'm doing it. So, of course, media man, media or man comes in and saves the day. And the way he does it, first of all, he, I don't even remember what happens. He wraps Simon up with a pipe and drains all his powers. Yeah, it looked like he's jacking them off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Harder, harder, man. Hey, he like he that, that, that'll drain your powers. Yeah, that, that'll drain. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I, <laughs> shit, I'll drain more than you <laughs> uh-huh. 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 Oh, shit. Right, let, let, let me take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and these little and these little badass kids, uh, he stops them with some some pedal shit. Around, just the <laughs> d- 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 pants and little boys. Yeah. Look, those little boys like, thank you, Mido. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was too tight anyway. <laughs> so he's he's taking care of the Golden Lords, but then <laughs> then the, uh, the 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 main the main mob boss shows up. The Riddler shows back up. Gonna enjoy this. <laughs> but then the the gangs show up because obviously the police let them keep their guns. <laughs> So they sh- they show up and they're the ones to uh, save the day. Have a nice trip. Maybe you should think about taking a little vacation. What? You know you could be shooting them right now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know the way he plays it, like I know this. Yeah. What? <laughs> All them guns right there didn't fire one. No. What? <laughs> uh. 
bird. What is that? What is? <laughs> With guns, oh, let's get out of here. Come on, boys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and no, it, and it just yeah. is. No, you that, no, you do not get to take credit for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gets the last shot. He gets the freeze frame. He didn't do a goddamn thing. Sure didn't. Gangs did it. Old black women did it. Mm -hmm. The dog even took a hit. James L. Jones. James L. Jones. Throwing, hey. uh, throwing the, 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 the records down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The James L. Jones got in the middle of it, man. He got into the mix. Everybody did shit except Meteor Man. No and they end, that, the they end that shit like it's like he was Batman right, in this. Right, right, right. Uh, he and saved the, the day. He ain't saved shit. And the thing is, they don't even have any real conclusion. It just no. ends like that. Where, he, where he's just like, well, I guess everybody did some good shit. All right. And that's it. It I mean, just... I would like the post credit scene where he's talking to Eddie Griffin. You dare take my suit again. You <laughs> so there you go, people. Meteor Man. Hey, I, I will say this. I, as a superhero movie, lame, very weak, limping. But uh, I don't hate it as a movie. The, you know, the sad thing is, is that it aspired so much to do something positive that it kind of just as you say, neutered itself. Uh, like, I don't dislike this. It's hearts in the right place, but you know, the movie's all over the place too. It, it was enough for other people to go like, okay, we cannot do that. Yeah. 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 And then we got, Blank man. Then we got blank man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, okay, I'm okay. Gonna... Well, we can't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this just got to stop, goddamn it! All right, I told you. Yeah. Now I will say this: I, I'm with you on the the hearts in the right place. It is. And I'll be honest, I did like this movie when I was 14. When I saw it's it's a kid's it movie. Out. Yeah, you know, it man, listen, I don't dislike the movie. Really, I don't. It's a kid's movie. You know, it's a that's but for, it's for small kids even though they you know, in their underwear and doing crack, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs>